Doug, and this is Talking Points. Welcome back. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about poses and gestures and uh, specifically Iron Man poses. So in this particular technique I like to play with, it's very loose, very gestural, and just kind of very exploratory. I'm not worried too much about where things land or how it's overly connected. I just want to almost be very playful and childlike and very loose. So I'm just using a 6B pencil to kind of play around and figure out where I want certain parts of this character to be. So from there, I'm kind of moving things around, adding a bit of detail here and there, and uh, figuring out what that gesture pose is. And essentially, I'm using the spine as the line in my mind when I'm creating this of where where everything's based off of. So the hips, the shoulders, the hands, the arms, everything is kind of based off that that line in the uh, in the spine. So from there, these particular characters and poses I'm playing with are him taking off from the ground. I really kind of want to make sure that that's true to that form, but uh, I'm not too specific about it being rigid. Uh, I just really want it to feel alive and, and kind of playful. After I've kind of figured out that this is a pose I want and it makes sense to me, I want to go in and just for my own uh, peace of mind, really kind of realize where the anchor points are, just to double check that they make sense. So essentially what's the line in the shoulders, the hips, the legs, the arms, the neck, and does that all align and make sense? Because I want to be thinking three dimensionally through these characters to really understand where, where things should lie as opposed to where they just may end up based on where my pencil was. I want it to make sense to the, the the end user and the people viewing it. Another thing I always keep in mind when I'm creating different poses and dynamic ones like these is uh, foreshortening. So I wanna really make sure that what's closest to the camera or closest to the eye is really bigger than what's in the background, even though they are the same size. It's just that trick of the eye to make sure it looks believable. So I would love to know what uh, Iron Man was your favorite movie, one, two, or three. Or I guess you could go, even go into the rest of the universe and let me know that. So feel free to comment below. So thanks again for hanging out. Um, if you like this video and you got something from it, feel free to like it uh, as well. Also, feel free to subscribe and see future videos coming your way. This has been Doug Belding Art. Until next time, cheers.